What's going on everybody? It's Ben here from Butler Built and today we're talking six tips for the perfect CNC bit change. We're coming right out of the gate hot and heavy with tip number one. Put a magnet on your dust boot so it'll hold your collet wrench in place while you're doing your bit changes or setting up for bit change. Tip two is to put a piece of leather or other soft material under your bit while you change it. And that way you can protect those expensive and sharp bits. It's a great way to ensure that your bit stays sharp. Tip three, keep your bits clean and organized. This sort of goes without saying, but a clean bit cuts cleaner and an organized bit finds easier. It's easy to lose these little things and one of the first carves I made on my shop bot was to make some bit trays to hold all of my expensive bits. Tip four, a clean collet is a happy collet. Of course it is. Take the collet nut completely off, even if you have a router and give it a little puff of air and then make sure there's no obstructions in the collet itself. That will ensure you get good contact when you insert the bit, nothing in the way. Now, how far do you want to insert that bit? Well, that's tip number five. If you have a spindle, a designated spindle with a collet, do not bottom out the bit. Always leave a 16th to an eighth of an inch air gap at the top, and that will ensure that the spring collet can grasp the bit completely. Pretty much the same thing goes with the router, but always look it up and follow your manufacturer's recommendations. Tip number six is to not over tighten the collet. A good roll of thumb is to give it one extra hand squeeze. After you get your bit set in place, of course, we're gonna look at setting the Z0 height. Now there's a number of different ways to do this. My preferred method is to simply use the Z0 plate that came with my ShopBot Desktop Max. It's extra long, which means it can bridge over uh, gaps and holes, and it's just really easy to use. Of course, another method is to use the post-it note trick that you're seeing here. You basically lower the CNC bit until it touches the post-it note and then you're within a couple thousandths. Here is a three axis zero plate from ShopBot that does all three axes. And this is another option from PWN CNC, the Speed Setter V2 will set your bit heights uh, very easily with some custom collets. Bit changes can be a pain in the neck at times. They are definitely a necessity. I recommend building yourself a checklist to follow every time you change a bit. That will ensure you don't miss a step or get anything wrong or cause a problem down the road. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. If you care to, take a minute to support my sponsors, ShopBot Tools and Bits and Bits, two incredible companies. You can't go wrong with either. In the meantime, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.